Well, as the general managers meet out in California this week uh, to kind of set the groundwork for the offseason, the Red Sox will be inducting members into the uh, Hall of Fame on Friday night, the Red Sox Hall of Fame. I had the privilege of being inducted two years ago, and I can tell you it's a great honor. And uh, when you walk by that plaque at Fenway Park, it really means something. Uh, the guys I know best, obviously, Bill Lee, I think he'll probably have the most interesting speech and funniest speech of everybody. Uh, the hit dog, Mo Vaughn, who um, had some great years here in Boston. It's a shame that he hasn't been around more uh, around the Red Sox, but um, and also a shame that the injuries really cost him uh, a few years on his career. And, of course, Mike Greenwell, who sometimes gets overlooked. There have been so many great left uh, fielders for the Red Sox in their history that I think sometimes Greenwell's years with the Red Sox get overlooked. So those will be uh, certainly rehashed and re-brought up on, um, on Friday night uh, at the Hall of Fame dinner. Uh, Greenwell also would like to welcome uh, to Soxheads as a member of our family. But uh, it was kind of funny because he, he was a guy that always liked to talk. He loved talking to the media, and then every once in a while he'd get upset, and he said, I'm not talking anymore. We all would take bets on how long it would take for that to happen. It last, usually lasted about one day, and that was it. But congratulations to everybody going in. I know what it feels like. It's a tremendous honor. Uh, which brings me, I've been reading Sox Heads this morning, and there was an, an article in there on Jim Rice and my feelings about Rice. And I have always been consistent in saying that he should be in the Hall of Fame now. Uh, with that, you know, let me say that I'm not a numbers guy. I don't look back at who's done this and who's done that, who's in there because of the numbers and who's not. All I know is, you know, from guys that played with him and against him through that period of time in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, there was no more dominant player in the game of baseball, and I've always been a backer of Jim Rice to be in the Hall of Fame. So hopefully uh, next year will be his year. He seems to inch closer and closer, and uh, hopefully next time it comes up, uh, he will be uh, going in in his final year of eligibility. And uh, I honestly and truly believe he belongs there because he was such a dominant impact player. Um, for the Boston Red Sox, um, you know, in, the, in that stretch of time. It's unfortunately, you know, if he had a couple of extra years that, that he could have played, there would have been no question about the numbers. Uh, but the fact is, in some categories, people feel he fell short. But to be on the field with him as a teammate and also as an opponent, uh, in my mind, he's a Hall of Famer. So uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to take off for a little while, a little vacation down in Florida for a few days, get some R&R. Uh, and get back here uh, in about a week or so. And um, for those who are going to the Hall of Fame dinner, you're going to have a hell of a time. It's a, it's a really nice event. And, um, and enjoy the, the new guys that are being inducted. As I said, it's such a moment that they'll never forget.